Harry, fresh after night to behold wonderful success uh, just a few days ago. What was your initial reaction to that win? Um, we were thrilled because, you know, obviously the horse, he, he won the Lingfield Derby trial very, very easily and, you know, created a lot of excitement. Uh, and obviously we had a, a massive dream that we could go to the Derby and, and do well, which is such a tough race. Uh, and to be honest, things didn't work out. And, you know, the race at Deville the other day really meant a huge amount just to get him back on track you know, as a horse and, and for the owner, for everybody that sort of kept faith with him. Do you think front running tactics are important to him? Because he's employed them, as you say, at Lingfield and again. I think it's important. He's a, he's a quite a free running horse, and I think he relaxes in front. Um, to be honest, I thought Oshin gave him a super ride um, in the Irish Derby with Frankie. He was still a bit bold, um, and I think they just when he's allowed to get on, he can do his own thing. Um, I think he just yeah, it just seems to seem to make him more happy. And talking about trip future targets, where are we going to see him next? Well, we, we, we haven't got him in the, the champion, the, well, the couple of champions sexes, so the Irish champion and, and, the, and the, the Ascot one. Um, purely we just felt it was, it was hard to sort of put up a lot of money after the two races he'd run in the derbies. Um, so we'll definitely think about that, whether we, we, we could supplement him. Um, but I'm quite interested by the Prix Moulin, which is, which is a group one, which is dropping back to a mile. Um, obviously, I would be scared of running in a mile in England, but in France, obviously, things go a little bit slower. It just might suit him. Um, but we're just trying to keep all, all options open, really.